In this video, we will look at the geometric problem known as closest pair problem. The problem is, given n points, find a pair of points that are closest. Let us consider we have these points. Each point has an x coordinate and a y coordinate. We need to find a pair of points that are closest, which means finding a pair of points with the smallest Euclidean distance. The Euclidean distance d can be computed using the mathematical formula square root of xj minus xi whole square plus yj minus yi whole square. One of the solutions to solve the closest pair problem is to use the brute force method. The brute force method to solve this problem would be to find the distance between all possible pair of n points and choose the smallest distance between the pairs. To do this, we will be needing a for loop i from 1 to n and the nested for loop j also from 1 to n. Then we will check if i is not equal to j because if i is equal to j, that means those are the same points and obviously we are computing the distance between different points. So we will have if i not equal to j and then if this is true, we will compute the distance between point i and point j. Now when we analyze these statements, you can see that the for loop for i will be executing n times and the inner for loop for j will also be executing for n times. Therefore, the overall complexity of these statements will be O of n square. Actually, for n points, we will have n multiplied by n minus 2 divided by 2 pairs of points. And computing the distance between each pair requires O of n square time to compute. Now, we can achieve better performance by applying the divide and conquer approach, where we do not need to check the distance between every possible pair. Let us look at how the divide and conquer approach works. Using the divide and conquer method, we divide the large set of points into two partitions. Now, since this is a geometric problem, therefore, we consider the division of points based on the x coordinates. So, we compute the median of the x coordinate and divide the points according to the median. Let us consider the blue dotted line as the median which cuts the x axis. We assume that these partitions are roughly of equal size, meaning the partitions will have roughly equal number of points. Now, the points to the left of the median will be in one partition, let's say partition A, and the points to the right of the median will be in another partition let's say partition p. Suppose if some points lie on the median, then we can suitably divide them in partition A or partition B so that we have roughly equal number of points in both the partitions. So in this case, point B, C, D, H, I, M and N are in partition A and the points A, E, F, G, k and l are in partition b. Now, the closest pair of points falls into three categories. Both points are in partition a or both points are in partition b or one point is in partition a and the other in partition b. The closest pair in category 1 can be determined by finding the closest pair recursively on partition a as well as the closest pair in category 2 can be determined by finding the closest pair recursively on partition B. Actually, this is the conquer phase of the divide and conquer approach. What this means is that we can again divide the partition A and partition B recursively into smaller partitions using the divide and conquer approach and find the distance between the points using the direct formula for computing the Euclidean distance. But to determine the closest pair in category 3, we need a different approach. Suppose the closest pair in partition A is the point B and H, and 
let's say its distance is dA. In the same way, let us consider the closest pair in partition B is the point J and F. And let's say its distance is dB. Now, we need to find which pair has the smallest distance. Let us assume that the pair J and F of partition B with distance dB is smaller than the distance between the pair B and H of partition A. So, the minimum distance is dB and let us call this distance as D. Then, for the points in category 3 to be closest, each pair must be less than the distance D. Therefore, we can now consider the region which is distance D from the median towards the left of the median and distance D from the median towards the right of the median. Now, all the points that are outside this region in partition A as well as in partition B are eliminated since their distance will obviously be greater than the distance D. And now, we have to only care about the points in partition A and partition B which are within this region. Now, before we proceed further, remember that the points in partition A within this shaded region will never have distance less than D because if any pair has distance less than D, then that pair's distance would have been considered and the region would have changed. The same is the case with the points of partition B within the shaded region. Therefore, we now have to determine the distance between the pair of points from partition A and another point in partition B. So, now we find a pair by considering one point at a time from partition A. We start with a point which has highest y coordinate in partition A and move in the decreasing order of y coordinate for the points in partition A. In this case, we have point D in partition A, which has the highest y coordinate. Let us consider this point as P. Now, the other point which must lie in partition B must be D distance apart from the median in all directions in partition B. This region is known as comparing region of point P and is bounded by six points. The idea is that the other point of the pair must lie in this region of partition B to be closest. In this case, there is no point in partition B which lies in the comparing region of point D. So, we move to the next point in partition A, which is point M. Even here, we find that there is no point in partition B which lies in the comparing region of point P. Then, we have the point I in partition A and the comparing region of point P, which is point I, has only point L of partition B. Therefore, the pair I, L is the closest point among all the other points. And this is the combined phase of the divide and conquer approach. Now, suppose if none of the points in partition B falls in the comparing region of points in partition A, then the closest pair will be the points which has the distance D. So, this is how we can apply the divide and conquer strategy to compute the closest pair of points. Let us look at the closest pair algorithm. This algorithm takes set of points P as the parameter. Now, if the problem is small, that is, if there are only two points in the set, then return the Euclidean distance of the two points. Now, if there are more than two points in the set, that means the problem is large. So, divide the set of points equally using the median into partition A and partition B. Then recursively call closest pair algorithm on partition A, let's say PA, which will return the distance of the closest pair in partition A, let's say DA. And recursively call closest pair algorithm on partition B, let's say PB, which will return the distance of the closest pair in partition B, let's say DB. Then find which distance is minimum between DA and DP. Let's call this distance as D. Then remove all the points which are greater than distance D from the median and sort 
the remaining points based on the y coordinate. Then, for each remaining point in set A, compare the distance between its neighbors in set B, which lies within the comparing region. If the distance is less than D, then update the distance D. So, this is the closest pair algorithm using divide and conquer strategy. Now, let us analyze the complexity of this algorithm. Let T of n denote the time taken by the closest pair algorithm. The first part is the small problem, which returns the Euclidean distance and is the primitive statement. So, when n is 2, the problem is small and will be taking unit time to compute. Then, when the problem is large, we divide the set of points into two partitions, which will at most execute for n times. Then, the closest pair algorithm is recursively called on partition A, which contains approximately half of the points. So, this statement will be taking t of n by 2 times to execute. Then, closest pair algorithm is recursively called on partition B, which contains approximately half of the points. So, this statement will be taking t of n by 2 times to compute. Then, the statement which deletes the points which are greater than distance d will execute for at most n times. As well as sorting points according to the y coordinate will also execute for at most n times. And finally, the for statement for comparing the distance between each remaining point will take at most n time to compute. Therefore, the recurrence relation will be t of n will be taking constant time when n is 2, that is, when the problem is small, and when the problem is large, that is, when n is greater than 2, t of n will be taking 2t n by 2 plus c multiplied by n, where c is some constant. So, when we solve this recurrence relation, using the substitution method, we get the time complexity as O of n log n. Therefore, the closest pair problem using the brute force approach takes O of n square as the time complexity and the closest pair problem using divide and conquer approach takes O of n log n as the time complexity which is much better than the brute force method. There are several applications of closest pair problem. The closest pair problem is used in computer graphics, computer vision, geographical information systems, air traffic control, and in many more domains.